and you can see that here that all the destination Mac is, is grayed out. It's all gone to zeros. And the first thing we'll look at here is the is the the IP class. So this setting selects the IP uh, v4 differentiated service code point. Uh, it's formerly known as the type of service or TOS. This value provides the priority routing when supporting in the routers. The, the default value is for expedited forwarding, which is the value 46. There's no need to change this. The DST IP, this setting specifies the destination IP address for the routable goose. Uh, and the only thing we have to be aware of is that the IP address needs to be a valid multicast or unicast IP address. Now, one last thing before we complete this is as I hover over each one of these fields, you can see there, uh, you can see the logical the device and the logical nodes that each one of these fields are associated with. So here's the Goose uh, ID. You can see it's got the logical node of master, logical node zero, and then of course the, the Goose name. So anyways, this concludes this section. Next, we'll go into the RX Goose. Before we leave the screen, I decided to come back and create a second Goose with some analog values. So I've gone ahead and named the, the Goose ID metered values. I left the control block name the same. Uh, I've entered in a new name for the, the TT3 uh, data set. I called it volts underscore current. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to come down to metering and I'm going to select the MMXU, it's right here, AC source MMXU1, I'm going to go down to the MX which is the metering and I'm just going to post in a, a voltage and a current, so we have the, the instantaneous or the or the, the other setting here that requires a dead band. So let's go with the dead band one. We have a magnitude and an angle. Let's go with the magnitude. We'll grab the, the floating point. We'll drag it over. So there we have it. Meter, AC source, MMXU1, MX volts, phase A, and this is the magnitude. And then I'll do the same thing with current as well. And then we'll save everything. Now, one of the things you need to be aware of with the TT3, that you cannot alter the name. You'll get this kind of an error message if you try and change the name. So you come back. We'll have to leave the TT3 prefix in here at the beginning, or else it won't acknowledge it. Now we can go ahead and save this.